Hello, this is Moobit from GamerDads.co.uk. Uh, welcome to my personal channel, and this is uh, my retro geeky type toy review thingies. Um, you've probably seen there's a whole series of uh, these on my channel. Um, I'm, this week I'm doing uh, a series on Doctor Who replicas on its screwdrivers because I'm just like that. Today is the turn of this, the Sonic Screwdriver Pen. Very, very kindly uh, given to me for Christmas by my brother-in-law, who's also a Doctor Who geek. Um, thank you, Stephen, That's uh, if you're watching this. This is one of the uh, better presents I've had this year, to be honest with you. Very good, thank you. Um, as you can see, if I switch to macro so we can go up a bit close. So, this is all boxed. It's actually a metal pen. Um, feels I imagine it feels very nice in the hand here. As you can see, it's, made, it's all it's as well as you probably can't see because of the studio lights. It is reflecting the light quite well. You can tell it's metal um, and sort of hard resin um, construction. New Doctor Who label. This is obviously the Matt Smith version of the Sonic Screwdriver. Um, BBC logo on the side there, all the way around. Tells about himself. And there, there's, his, there's the description, metal bodied executive pen based on the Doctor's Sonic Screwdriver. It's essential kit for time travelling escapades or desk work contents. Sonic Screwdriver pen with a black and a green ink cartridge. I'll show you that later, that's actually kind of cool. And full instructions for use, i.e. it's a pen, get some paper and write on it. Made just like the uh, real um, screwdriver, Sonic screwdriver, which is um, this thing here which I've uh, reviewed separately. This is a metal screwdriver um, made by Wow Stuff um, of Great Britain Brands Brought to Life. Uh, copyright 2009, BBC logo, no, copyright BBC 1996, TARDIS image, copyright BBC 1963, licensed by BBC Worldwide. Here's the bottom of the box, wowstuff.co.uk. As with many things in life and with the uh, metal screwdriver, this is distributed and made in China and then shipped over to Wolverhampton where we get our grabby little bits on it. Not suitable for children under three years, blah blah blah. You get the idea with that. So, let's uh, switch back to normal mode and let's uh, get this thing opened. Okay, so... Here we are, little plastic um, box here. Whole thing slides out. We'll get rid of that. And it's quite nicely mounted in a uh, plastic receptacle. And it's quite hard to get out of, actually. There we go. So you've got your uh, box there. It says there are instructions. Hmm, now then, where could they be? Yes, there we are, as we thought. There's instructions in the bottom of here now. What possible instruction could you need for a pen? I imagine it's for the actual batteries, because this one does make a noise. Yes, there we go. That's a symbol. Screwdriver pen. That's how you hold a pen. Oh, that's what I've been doing wrong all these years. I've been using my teeth. There's your product reference code if you need it for the internet. DW-1012. Extracting the pen nibs. So... As you can see there, there are two pen nibs inside here. If you turn the uh, body of the pen one way, you get a black pen. If you turn it the other way, you get a green pen. And there's all usual warnings, not suitable for children under three years, small parts, blah, blah, blah. Distributed, just as the box, there's wow stuff. And made in China, so. Thought I'd uh, set up um, a little comp size comparison for you there. There are my three uh, Matt Smith themed screwdriver. That's the plastic toy one. That's the real screwdriver one. Again, both of these are reviewed separately on the show. And there's the pen itself, as you can see, glimmering in the sun. Size so comparison to the David Tennant one. So you get the idea of that. Anywho, let's get rid of those. This is the pen itself, and what a lovely little thing it is, I may say. Um, I was wrong uh, just earlier on when I thought it made noises. It doesn't, but that's no, no, never mind. You don't want to, when you're trying to get some work done, you don't want to be making lots of screwdriver noises. Probably fun for the first ten minutes. Um, but then after that, and as you can see, give you a comparison to holding the pen. 
and it's a nice little thing it's um, weighty really for a pencil so it's good quality and uh, the indentation where the uh, leather bit would be on the real um, on the real thing in the show that fits quite nicely in your hand there into your knuckle so you can write quite well it's quite comfortable shiny bronze like metal the replica bit on the end as you can see is quite detailed uh, you know you can sort of makeshift metal studs etc and uh, yeah it's a pen basically you turn it one way the nib comes out put it back you turn it the other way the other nib comes out so there's your green nib other way there's your black nib and it clicks into the middle green black green black whichever way around it is you get your general idea with that there's not much more you can really say it's a pen but a very fine pen it is in my personal opinion I'll be uh, I think I'll be carrying this around with me quite a lot in the, in the uh, coming days uh, it's always nice to have a pen on you and it's always nice to have a pen that happens to be a sonic screwdriver I do like this very much thank you very much Stephen that's a very good present they're um, freely available in most shops as you probably know so uh, yeah go get yourself one so then this is Mubit signing out thank you for watching this uh, review of the uh, sonic screwdriver replica pen um, please do come to my channel and subscribe and comment and like and all the usual good stuff um, you can see reviews of all the other uh, screwdrivers here um, on that channel also do check out the uh, Gamer Dads uh, site and the Gamer Dads Retrocast uh, links will be um, in the show notes um, and until then this is Mubit signing out thank you